Let's go over an example of the workflow of a code review using Upsource. In the example we'll have two developers, the one who originally wrote this code and a reviewer. To show you the two different developers' viewpoints, I've got them logged into two different browser windows. The original developer, that's me, will be on the left. The reviewer, Roberta, will be on the right. To create a review from a commit I've made, I simply have to locate that revision in the project in the Upsource repository. I can also use the Upsource search to find it. I can then create a review containing this commit. I will, of course, want to add reviewers. Upsource suggests reviewers based on the history of the files that are being changed, as well as code review history. In this case, though, I want to select Roberta. Maybe she's new to the project and I want her to familiarize herself with this part of the code base. You can see that as soon as I add her, her newsfeed is updated to show that she's been added to the review. She'll also get an email, but if she is in Upsource already, she'll be informed in real time. I can also add a watcher who might want to be kept in the loop, but whose approval isn't strictly required. Now let's change the focus from the original developer to the reviewer. Upsource gives the reviewer a number of tools to help them view and understand the code. Firstly, the summary of the review shows all the files that have been changed and the lines that were changed, added or deleted. You can also look at a side-by-side -side diff, which shows you the changes in that file in a concise and familiar fashion. It also lets you comment on sections of the code. This is a great way to start discussions about specific implementations or design decisions. In the side-by-side -side diff, you'll be able to see any comments left by any developers. In this case, though, we've only got the one we just created. Comments also appear in line with the code in the review summary. Now, if we go back to seeing both developers' views, we can see that the original developer, on the left, gets instant access to see the comments too. You can easily add line-level comments in the summary view, and notice that the comments don't have to be on the lines in the file that have changed. Upsource doesn't simply provide a way to see the code in a commit. It also gives you powerful tools to help you, as a reviewer, make decisions about the code. Here I am logged in as Roberta, the reviewer, and I'm viewing one of the changed files. I can see by the yellow indicator in the top right that there are inspection warnings for this file. These inspections are provided by IntelliJ IDEA. If I hover over an individual warning, I can see what it is, and clicking on it would take me there. I can also perform other actions that I might be used to in my IDE. For example, I can go to the declaration of a method, even if it's in a class that's not in the project. In this case, the method is in the core Java libraries. Or, if I've clicked a method name, I can search for usages for places where this method is called. This is going to be particularly useful for a reviewer trying to figure out what impact some changes will have. Let's look at some more interaction between the developers. Remember, the reviewer is on the right and the developer on the left. The reviewer, Roberta, left a comment for me on a section of the code. I'm going to respond to this to ask for a bit more guidance. Again, you can see that comments are immediately visible in the other person's browser. Let's switch back to the perspective of our reviewer. While reviewing the code, her goal should be to make a decision on whether to accept or reject the changes. In this case, our reviewer is going to leave a review-level comment explaining her concerns and what can be done to address them. We'll switch back to seeing both developers' browsers so that we can see what happens if Roberta chooses to reject this review. Roberta gets a message stating that she doesn't have to do anything else to the review, and the original developer can see that Roberta has rejected the changes. As the original developer, I can make changes to address the concerns raised in the review. When I've committed and pushed these, I can attach these changes to a review. In this case, we want to select the one we were working on before. You can see that Roberta's icon has been updated so it no longer has the rejected icon on, as the review has changed. Switching back to our reviewer, we can see a new revision has been added to the review. The reviewer only sees the new changes added since the original review. She can check over the changes and, of course, perform the same actions as before. Since everything looks good, Roberta, our reviewer, will accept the review. This time, Roberta's icon changes to show the accepted status and I, as the original developer, can choose to close the review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can always find more information at the JetBrains website.